Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. At this point, we've pretty much got content going out every 48 hours. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content and don't stay stuck with your sports coaching business. Now, if you want to get in contact with me personally, there's two ways you can do that. The first way is you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me where we can jump on Zoom. I call it a discovery call where I discover your business, I discover your idea, I discover what you're, you're currently doing and I can show you some actionable steps that you can take this week to grow and scale your business, right? This call is not a sales call. It's literally a call where we jump on, I ask you some specific questions about what you're doing, where you want to get to and what are, and I share with you some, some actionable steps you can take to, to put your business in the right direction today. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to send me a, a question directly, you can send it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? So don't stay stuck with your business get in contact with me. I'm here to help you. So today I want to talk about the rules of selling in this industry. Now I've been in this industry for a very long time now. And also I speak to coaches every single day. So if you've watched our previous uh, videos, you know that I've connected with coaches in, in all sports, right? In basketball, in cricket, in soccer, in baseball, Right, so every single sport you can think of, I've, I've probably spoken to a coach in that sport. And a lot of coaches today, what they're struggling with is they're struggling with the sales side of coaching. Right, so how do we market? How do we sell our business? How do we attract new clients? Okay, and how do we close essentially deals? So I want to share with you three rules that essentially I stuck with when I first started my business. These three rules are things that helped me. And I know if you make note of them and you implement them into your sports coaching business, they will help you to grow and scale to the next level. Right. So the first one is you've got to have a pipeline. Right. So essentially a pipeline is people to talk to. Now, when I started my soccer coaching business, I had zero people to talk to, okay, right at the beginning. But what I did is I made a list of people who I've coached in the past, parents I've connected with, uh, people that I knew in my, in my area, and also my network of people. And what I did is I got in contact with them. I reached out to them, whether it be via text message, via email, via WhatsApp, via however it is, right? I got in contact with those people and I told them what I was doing. Okay. It, I reached out to them. I, I sent them a nice, um, a nice message saying, Hey, Hey John, how's it going? This is Leo. I know we haven't spoken, um, to each other in a while. Just wanted to, to catch up here, see how everything is and let you know that I am going to be starting a sports coaching business in the next month or so. Now, if you know anyone that is looking for extra training or would like help getting better in whichever sport that they're in, okay, make sure that you, you forward um, my details onto them so that, so that I can uh, reach more people and help. Now, that is a very simple message that you can send to people that you know. And what you have to remember is that a lot of people will either ignore the message, uh, they'll get distracted with the message because they'll essentially forget the reason why you're, you're connecting and they might respond to you with more personal questions. Hey, how's it going? How's everything do? How's everything do going? Right. But what you want to do is you just want to connect with people at the beginning, right? You want to build your pipeline of people to speak to about your business. Now, something I did was that was the first approach. Anyone I can think of that I'd either coached in the past or parents that I knew had influence on other parents in the area and had access to kids that I knew were a good fit for who I wanted to train, I reached out to them either via a message, 
right? So either text, email, Facebook message, uh, WhatsApp, uh, I called them, uh, Zoom, however it was, I was getting in front of people because I wanted people to know what I was doing. Uh, because if people don't know you, people can't buy from you. If people don't know what you're doing, people won't know where to look for you. Uh, so that was the first thing I'd done. Now, the second thing I'd done to build my pipeline was I went out to local local fields and I watched, watched games, right? I watched matches of teams that were playing uh, in the sport I was coaching and essentially what I would do is I would do this every Saturday and Sunday go out to local parks and connect with parents okay so my intent was to go out get myself outside my comfort zone and talk to parents and tell them about what I was doing this is what I was doing this is what I'm offering this is what I'm lo- how I'm looking to help players would this be something you're interested in okay so over time, that built because p- parents started to like, they started to trust me. And there were some parents that were in the market for extra training and supplemental training. So I remember I had several conversations with parents who were like, oh, do you know what? We're actually looking for a one-on-one coach or we're looking for, sm- for, for some uh, semi-private training for, for our child. Okay, because we feel that he might he might benefit from it because we want him to be a bit more confident on the ball. We want him to improve his, his first touch, his shooting, his striking, whatever it is. But all I did was I got myself out there, spoke to loads of parents, and in exchange, they they provided with me some contact information, such as phone numbers, email addresses that I could then follow up with and connect with them. Okay, so the first thing you need to create a pipeline of people to talk to about your business, right? That is the number one rule of selling in this in this industry. Now, the second one is you need to create a process. So a process is pretty much a system how you're going to sell to parents, right? So when I started, and I'm going to give you this example, when I started my business, I was looking to sell a free session to parents, right? Because essentially what I wanted is I wanted parents to come to my training, experience it firsthand and experience the quality and high high intensity that I provided. And then in exchange, I'd follow up with that, that parent to see if they wanted to continue training after that trial session, okay? So the process I had was, right, I needed to connect with people first Go out to, to, to my local field, talk with people, talk with parents who were at matches and had kids that were of age okay, and ticked all the boxes of my perfect client. So when I started, I wanted to work with kids who were aged between 9 and 12. So there was no point in me going to watch a, a U16 or an under 16 game because those weren't my ideal clients, right? My ideal clients were were under nines, under tens, under elevens, under thir- under thirteens, possibly. So I I looked for those games in my local area. I went out. I spoke to parents. That was my first process. Was get into the get into the field. Second step was now I need to speak with parents. Okay. Now the third pro the third step was. I need to try and build some trust so that they share with me either a contact number, a contact email, so I can then follow up with them. And then once I have that information, the fourth step is now I need to try and close them onto a free trial session. So if I can get them to that free trial session, the the possibility that they will then continue and want to continue training with me were, were quite high. So those were the four steps I I created to, tr- to get my first client. And essentially when I stuck to it, it started growing over time and I, my, my clientele base did grow um, with, with time, but I, f- I had a step, I had a process in place and I stuck to it. So that's my second rule of selling in this industry. If you don't have a plan, if you don't have a process, if you don't have a system, then you're going to get to the field, you're going to get to the court, 
whatever sport you're in. You want to speak to parents and then you're not going to know how to then close them onto what you do. Okay, so you need to have it step by step process. Right, when I get there, this is what I'm going to talk to them about. These are the questions I'm going to ask. This is how I'm going to try and get their contact information. And this is how I'm going to follow up with them to make sure it, it works. Okay, now the third, third rule of selling, and this is, this is a really important one for me, is commitment, right? Commitment and taking action. You can have all the knowledge, all the information, you can create a plan, you can have a process, but if you don't take action, then it'll never work. So what I did is I made it a goal that every week I had to talk to three people per day about my business. Now, sometimes this was people who didn't have um, access to, to the type of players I was working with, but that was my goal of mine. I needed to get in front of people and tell people what I was doing. This was my intent and this is what I wanted to create. Now, what happened with time was some, some of the people who essentially didn't have access to the kids I wanted to work with, they knew people who did, right? So they may have been in contact with parents who did have the kids that I wanted to train. And in, in some situations, I did get a referral from some of these people. So the intent at the beginning was literally to just get known, get myself out there, build a process, okay, and have a weekly goal and commit to that weekly goal, free parents or free people per day that I want to speak to about my business. Right? What I do, this is what I this is what I do, this is my company, this is how we get players to the next level. This is how we build confidence. This is how we build technique. This is the process we're looking to, to create with the players we work with. And, you know, if there's, if there's a commitment and you stick with it and you're consistent, it will build over time. Okay, so these are my three rules of selling in this type of industry. Make sure you, make, you, you take notes and implement the three things that I've just shared with you today. Now, if you want more specific help, again, I said at the start of the video, I say in every single video, I'm here to help. I'm here to help you with your business. So get in contact with me. Go to the description of this video. There's a couple of ways there that you can get in contact with me. Reach out to me either via question or you can book a call a free, discover, free 15 to 20 minute discovery call where we jump on Zoom. I can ask you some really good questions, get to know where you are, get to know where you want to get to. And I can share with you some actionable steps that you can take this week to grow and scale what you're doing. Okay, thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't stay stuck with your sports coaching business. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.